Number 47. If the volume of a fixed amount of gas is tripled at constant temperature, what happens to the pressure? Okay, so with this one, we can either use the combined gas law or the ideal gas law to figure out um, the answer to this question. So either, um, either formula works for me. I guess we'll do the, um, the combined gas law, which is this one. Now, the standard uh, combined gas law has four units in here. Since they only talked about volume, temperature, and pressure, and they didn't talk about moles, I could get rid of the moles. That's the beauty of the ideal gas, uh, not the ideal gas, the combined gas formula, is that whatever unit that they don't talk about, just get rid of it on both sides. Additionally, if you have a constant variable, in this case we have constant temperature, that means that there is no change from one temperature to the other. So doing the math, they will cancel out. So if they cancel out, get rid of it. <laughs> so get rid of the temperature, and now we are left with the with basically Boyle's equation, right? Boyle brought it back to just pressure and volume. P one B one equals P two V two. Now we just have to figure out what's going on with uh, this. Is it a direct relationship between pressure and volume, or an indirect relationship, right? Now let's just say that we have this equal to a constant value. So these are basically in the same numerator, they're over one. So if I need it to equal to something constant, right? And if I increase the pressure, what would I have to do to get to that same number? Yeah, I would have to decrease the volume. And then vice versa, if I decrease the pressure, the volume has to increase. Remember, anytime that you see something two variables that are on the same side of the equal sign and they're on the same uh, numerator, that's a indirect relationship. So these are indirect related. If one goes up, the other one's got to go down. Now they did say that the volume was tripled. So that means that I increased my volume by three times. So what's going to happen to the pressure? Well, since it's an indirect relationship, the pressure has to drop by how much? The same number, three times. And that's basically the answer. Now, if I just have to say it somewhere else or some, you know, uh, you know, say it in a different way, I will say that the pressure decreases by, you could say three times, or you could say a factor of three. Uh, decreases by a factor of three. Or I guess we could say decrease by three times the amount, 3x the amount. And that would be the same thing. And there you go. So this was just basically spotting out what pressure and volume were. Were they inversely or indirectly related or were there you know, was it a direct relationship? And pressure and volume is always inversely related or indirectly related. If one goes up, the other one goes down. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to help us out, tell your friends, tell your classmates about the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for that. I hope we're giving you great educational content. We also have physics videos and math videos on the channel. So go check it out if you're in uh, pre-calculus or college algebra or trig or geometry. We got you, all right? So I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.